It was the golden age, and the humans and magical creatures all lived in harmony. It was a time when humans still believed in magic and appreciated the earth and all she provided for them. Then it came. Growing in the bowels of the earth was the root of all evil. It slithered and fought its way to the surface like a weed. The evil menace grew huge seeds of pure evil. Every animal that encountered them was changed into an evil shadow creature, keen to perform their master's bidding. The evil spread across the land like a plague, and all was thought to be lost. In a last-ditched attempt to stop this horror, troll elders and animal leaders hatched a plan to create a weapon of pure light, the Elder's Staff. They armed the weapon with magical crystals and used it to force the root of all evil into a deep cave. The cave was sealed so the beast could never escape and endanger the world again. Little did they know that the tiniest droplet of purest evil had survived and had hidden within the hearts of humans. Although it was tiny, it was cunning and fed upon man's fears. Over the centuries, it grew and its influence on them became stronger. The humans, unaware that they were being manipulated, continued the root of all evil's mission to consume the planet. As the human cities grew, they needed more resources. The men ventured further into the forest for wood. They chopped and chopped, giving little regard for the long-term damage they were doing. The little fragment of evil within all of them told them it was fine. Now this little troll is called Hugo. He will be our hero on this adventure, although he does not know it yet. Hugo would be content spending his time relaxing and taking life easy, but Hugo is like a magnet for adventure and excitement. Today was a normal day for Hugo, and he was having his usual afternoon nap. He was dreaming that he was doing his second favorite thing after sleeping, which was eating. Suddenly, a loud ringing woke Hugo. He sat up to see Giles the Wise frantically ringing the village bell, which was only rung in emergencies. All the trolls gathered in the cowshed. There was a great deal of murmuring. Giles the Wise stood on a bench and addressed the trolls. All right, calm down, calm down. This is a serious matter. I have had a vision. I was talking to Cecil about the finer qualities of rosehip tea when it hit me. I was standing in front of Cranium Cave. The crowd gasped. All the trees had been cut down and rubbish littered the ground. I realized that this was the work of the humans. I can tell by your reaction that you remember the story of Cranium Cave and how our ancestors used it to trap the root of all evil. A look of fear filled the room. Well, in my vision, I saw the humans break the boulder that trapped the creature. We need someone to take the Elder's staff and investigate the ancient cave. It is our duty to make sure that the root of all evil cannot spread its seed once more. Who will be our champion? said Giles the Wise. Amongst the young trolls were many with hero aspirations, but none wanted to have anything to do with the infamous root of all evil. Meanwhile, a spider had crawled into Hugo's shirt, causing him to itch profusely. When Giles the Wise asked the question, Hugo waved his arm in the air in an attempt to dislodge the spider from beneath his armpit. Good for you, Hugo! Take the Elder's Staff. It is formed of pure light and is the only thing that can defeat the root of all evil. Before Hugo had a chance to explain that he didn't mean to raise his arm, he was placed upon the shoulders of the Fink twins and carried outside to begin his quest. Hugo decided to keep quiet, as the sooner he defeated the root of all evil, the sooner life would return to normal and he could return to eating and sleeping in great abundance. Now head into the forest and seek the keepers of the four magic crystals, the rabbit chief Tut, the fox lord Silo, the skunk baron Morley, and the bear king Ardal. These crystals will increase the elder staff magical power. Each one will bestow it with a new magical attack to combat the forces of darkness. 
However, it is only when you have collected all four crystals that you'll have the power to defeat the root of all evil, explained Giles. And so Hugo began his adventure. Those coins are the lost treasure of the troll people. If I collect the coins, then the elders will reward me with something from their armory. That object up ahead is a checkpoint. When I go past, it will light up, showing my progress has been saved. If my health reaches zero, then the staff will teleport back to the last activated checkpoint. Look, mushrooms! Use these to help me jump higher! pushing forward and down when I'm going down this hill to make me skid. a rare and valuable item. Soon we'll have enough treasure for the elders to collect. the bear throws so they fill the highlighted shape. 
That will make the doors open for us. If we pick them up, they'll make the elder staff stronger. We better be careful, though, as the droplets explode after a short time. So we'll need to collect them quickly. If I eat that apple, it will restore my health. <laughs>
looks like a switch. I can use switches to activate moving platforms and to open doors. rebuild the bridge by catching the blocks the bear throws and moving them back to where they should be. Hugo saw a rabbit burrow with beautiful carvings around the entrance. He took a deep breath and entered the hole. It led down into a large chamber. The chamber looked very old and had a sea of roots snaking through the soil. Ahead of him was a group of rabbits, one of which was seated upon a large throne with a beautiful ornate rabbit statue above it. This rabbit was Chief Tut, who was surrounded by the last remnants of his tribe. They all looked tired and battle-weary. Hugo bowed before the rabbit chief Tut. The last of the hair warriors stood forward to protect their leader, but the chief signaled them to lower their weapons and stand down. Hello, troll. It's not safe for you here, have you not heard? The root of all evil walks the earth once more. The veil of evil has transformed most of my tribe into vicious shadow creatures. They have overrun the forest, and our weapons are useless against them, said Tut. I have been sent by the troll elders, great Tut. I have the weapon of light, used to defeat the root of all evil the last time it reared its ugly head. I've come to ask you for the great rabbit crystal to increase the staff's power, said Hugo. Chief Tut laughed. 
Little troll, the rabbit crystal was lost a long time ago. I'm afraid your quest is fruitless. Go home and be with your people. The last hours are at hand. Oh, slug slime, said Hugo, and he slammed the elder's staff onto the floor in frustration. Suddenly, the elder's staff began to shake. A beam of light emanated from it and shone on a large statue above Chief Tut. The stone rabbit's mouth began to open. Dust clouds filled the air as the rabbit's mouth had been sealed shut for a very long time. The light from the elder's staff shone into the darkness of the mouth and revealed a sparkling object. It was the ancient rabbit crystal. The rabbit chief and his followers gasped in awe as the crystal floated above them toward Hugo. Once the crystal was above the staff, it began to spin. Faster and faster it turned until it was just a blur. Then, without warning, it swooped down and landed in Hugo's hand. The rabbit crystal was next to me for all of those years, and I had no idea, laughed Chief Tut. The crystal will give the elder staff an electrical attack, which should prove useful against those shadow creatures. What a fool I've been! Go, brave troll, go with my blessing. Save my people, save the world.